It is not enough to say that Baldwin's book is worthy of its status as a classic, not just of black literature, but of literature. A structure of overlapping stories and time and relationships unpacks a cacophony of messages, none cleanly suited to be called justice or faith or love. Just when you believe the story is going to turn to a conventional conception of goodness or of sin, the character turns about. When you believe a matter is settled, it rises again years later. It's how lives work, life affirming without any of the naive optimism or simple closures. More though, I'm compelled by the beauty of Baldwin's prose. His internal dialogues pulse with blood and belief, with characters who often think or act from a rich river of motivations. No shallow staples of literature here. Read passages aloud to feel this fully. I know I did. Two, there's a great deal in the story which is sublimated, left unspoken, seemingly untested. For every character who takes their turn at a prayer, three others reveal their equal tenacity, equal clamor for story. For every action we believe we understand, three less articulated causes presume themselves and later influence. The social circumstances of race are only one background which is unsettled in their lives. Now, this is not a fast read. Baldwin's prose compels us to labor a bit, to digest carefully. Had I not, it's perhaps because no character here exists as a prop or literary guise. We experience an intimacy of happenings from which we cannot turn away. 